Hi, my name is Faya and I write a blog called fitnessontaste.com. It tackles nutrition, healthy recipes, informative workout posts, uh, active travel and, um, and nutrition. <laughs> Today we are here to discuss wearable tech trends. I'm joined by three other bloggers. They are Lena from Mind Over Matter, David from Men's Running and Laurie from Wild and Grizzly. We are going to be sharing our experiences in trialing different products. So I'm going to kick off, but before I do that, if you ha have any questions at all, please feel free to write in the comment box below, and we're going to answer those questions after. So kicking off with my product, the one I've been trialing, the Misfit Flash, the watch right here. Um, it's a fitness, fitness activity tracker. It tracks your steps, distance, um, walked, run. Um, it also tracks um, calories burned, and it also works as a sleep monitor. Um, as you can see, it doesn't have a typical display, but instead it relies on LED lights. You click on it like so, it lights up, and it will tell you how you're getting on with your daily progress, as well as showing the time. Um, it syncs via Bluetooth. Um, you can use it on any tablet or iPhone. You download the app for free. It's super easy, and it syncs automatically. Um, it's waterproof, which means that you can take it swimming with you if you wish. It, wor it, it works up to 30 meters, which is fantastic. Um, the price is $49.99, so it's one of the cheapest on the market. Um, it also comes with a clip. It's right here. So what you do, it's pretty simple. You click it out, you pop it in here, and you can attach it anywhere you like. So on your jumper, on your pocket. Um, belt, sock, you name it. The choice is yours. It makes it a little bit more of a fashion item. Um, I would say this is the perfect fitness tracker for anyone who's never had one. Um, it gives you all the data you need, so you're, you've gone from not having any data at all to being able to measure your progress. It's also very affordable and super easy to, to use. Um, if anyone has any questions at all on the panel, please feel free to ask me about the Misfit Flash. Anyone? David, Laurie? Um, I've I actually used this product, I think, um, at Men's Running before. So um, uh, what about that, that kind of instant feedback? I mean, if you, have a, if you have a watch unit and you want to be able to look at it, you want to be able to see what's, what's happening, um, you're not able to do that with the Misfit, are you? You're not, but having said that, um, I think that the lights are very motivational. You can, can kind of work out percentage-wise where you're at and then if you want more data you simply just look at your phone and it's like I said it syncs it automatically you can really see okay you know I'm 40% there um, check on your graph and, and you're good to go so you know you still have all the data that you need. So as, a, as, a, as an exercise or as an individual what type of person do you feel that it would be best suited to? Um, I think, like I mentioned, it's perfect for a beginner in the sense that it gives you a lot of functionality. I think also having the sleep monitor is a massive plus, knowing, you know, um, how... Do you how not get really addictive to, to find out how, how, how much you want to be able to sleep? Do you not want to just put it on and go, oh my god, I've only slept for eight hours, or I've only slept for nine hours, or my god, I only slept for five hours that night? Does it not, do you not try and sort of do competitive sleeping? <laughs> Well, I guess you could do that. I mean, there is the social mode where you can compete with friends online. Um, Brilliant. There is, yes, which is really motivational. But I think more than anything, it's just sleep is so underrated, I think, from a fitness perspective. You know, you're never going to reach a result if you're not getting enough sleep. So it, I think it's really valuable to have that. So whilst it is a beginner's um, tracker, it's, it, it also gives you a lot of really, really good uh, vital information. Okay. So. Cool. I hope that answered your question. Um, if we don't have any more questions, we're going to jump over to Lena from Mind Over Matter. Um, Lena, can you please tell us a little bit about yourself and your blog? Yes, hi. Um, as far as, sorry. I'm struggling to hear you a little bit, Lena. Okay, shall we jump over to David in the meantime? Yeah, we'll jump over to David first. So, um, David from Men's Running, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and, and your blog, please? 
Um, yeah, well, I'm I'm actually the editor of Men's Running Magazine, so we, we do a print product, but we also have a, a, a website um, which gets a, a pretty good uh, level of activity uh, on which we, we do a lot of product reviews, um, but we also do events and training advice. Um, so it's really a digital platform for our men's running brand, um, which uh, which you know, gives us that opportunity to to do stuff in real time, um, and and you know we find that tech. Is a big uh, is a big turn on for for men. Um, you know, consistently stories that we do on tech and particularly new tech uh, are, are well um, are well trafficked. So um, you know, review products that we do, um, it, it kind of makes sense. So that's pretty much where we're at, uh, really. So fantastic. Thank you so much, David. And you child the Tom Tom. How did you get on with that? Uh, yeah, well, I'll, I'll try and display it to camera. Um, so, for those who don't know, um, this is a GPS, GPS and heart uh, monitor watch, uh, all in one uh, handy package. Um, Tom Tom re released the product, um, I think, about uh, a year ago. Um, this is the new, newer update of that product. The first product didn't come with heart rate. Um, so the big uh, the big thing about this product is that it comes uh, with no heart rate band. So you don't have to wear uh, a heart rate monitor band in order to be able to get um, the heart rate. It actually um, I'm trying to demonstrate here. What you do is you you put the watch about um, half an inch away from your, or a finger's width away from your uh, put it in the camera there from your wrist bone, and then these sensors on the back, which you can see there those sensors on the back uh, enable you to pick up your heart rate monitor, heart rate uh, through those sensors um, so as a runner um, running with a with a with a chest band can be quite awkward or quite restricting um, I've actually been using this today we, we actually in fact we actually had a meeting with Tom Tom today so it was quite fortunate that I was actually wearing it um, but the heart rate seems to be quite it seems to be quite accurate I think when you start to think that you use other Parts of the body to, to to generate heart rate readings. You'd expect to be some uh, level of accuracy to to be um, to to come into it. Um, but but it did seem to to mirror my the heart rates that I was expecting to see. Um, it actually uses the same technology as the Mio. I don't know whether anyone knows the Mio products. Um, Mio makes uh, again makes um, they do a product called the Mio Alpha, which is a uh, a, a wrist mounted uh, heart rate monitor so it actually uses their technology to power the heart rate part of the watch um, but obviously TomTom Tom is, is well known in the market as a, as a GPS uh, and navigation product so the, the GPS side of this watch uh, is, uh, is is TomTom's Tom's own technology. Um, unlike uh, other products out on the market that all of the um, all of the um, functionality is controlled by this button here. <laughs> so if you, um, I'm trying to do it backwards, backwards in the mirror, but basically if you if you uh, click that to the left, you should be able to see, although it's obviously now in mirrored, um, it says uh, run treadmill stopwatch. So in order to be able to just set this going for GPS functions, you click once to the left and then once again, and obviously it's not going to find them, but it's actually now trying to find the GPS signal. Um, you'll notice that the back is actually lit up as well, which tells you that you're trying to do some heart rate stuff. So, one of the things that we look at as a parameter of um, ease of use is that ability to be able to get from putting it on your wrist, be able to start running. So, just from seeing that, if you did nothing else to the watch and all you did was go outside, press the button twice, you'd pretty much find the GPS signal. Um, and for a lot of people who, who want a, a running product, plug-in play is, is exactly what they want to be able to do. Clearly, there's a lot more to it than that. Um, I'm just going to go back on the watch. Um, if you scroll... Back to the, so I'm going back to the home screen here. Um, if you scroll backwards, press the button, um, you get some of the... Um, some of the statistical analysis, so battery, storage, um, what version of GPS you're using. Again, uh, the most recent products, this is actually a slightly older unit actually, the most recent products will have a, a newer version which gives you that the quick GPS start which is much quicker than just sitting waiting for the satellites. Um, if you go again to the right, uh, you can use it in, indoors on a, on a treadmill. I think it uses an accelerometer 
So obviously you can't pick up GPS signal indoors, but um, it enables you to use an accelerometer to, to get the, the same type of statistics that you would want to be able to find. Um, and there's also a basic stopwatch um, underneath that as well. Um, if we go back to the home page and then scroll down, um, there's, a, there's a number of different things here. You can set the clock, um, you set the heart rate sensors, you compare it with your phone, um, gives you some options, and also you set up a profile. Um, as you were explaining with the, the, the Misfit product, this product also links to some proprietary software that TomTom provide where you're able to go to further analysis of the product, uh, you're able to see your, um, your statistics, um, your training stats, laps, that kind of thing. Um, I believe it also gives you a virtual, a, a virtual pacer or a virtual partner where you can set in um, some statistics to be able to, um, to, to track against t certain uh, targets that you might want to meet in training, for example. Um, I'm just going to scroll down and see if I can hit the options button as well. Um, there we are, training. So uh, on this menu, included in the training menu, um, you have uh, you can set a certain amount of goals. Um, you can also train within certain heart rate zones. So you set your heart rate parameters, um, easy tempo, that kind of thing. Set your heart rate zones, um, and also it gives you the opportunity to set um, laps either in kilometers or miles. So most um, GPS products out of the box will will click over to one kilometer or one mile, this gives you the opportunity to be able to set either those statistics or other statistics or also to do manual lapping as well. Um, I'm pretty sure it actually also communicates Bluetooth with via Bluetooth or wirelessly to the software, but if not, you've got the, the lead, uh, the USB lead to plug in to be able to com communicate to the software. Um, this product is priced £220, um, which puts it, I guess, um, probably towards the upper to middle end, or middle to upper end of the of the GPS market. It's certainly comparable to um, a, a Garmin 620, um, if anyone knows that type of product. Uh, it's very, very simple to use. I mean, that for me, that's the, the, the key thing, simple mm. to use. You've also got your heart rate, um, you've got your heart rate that's very easy to be able to access as well, um, and it's very easy to get up and running out of the box. Um, other than that, I can't really think of anything else to say. So, um, okay, thank you so question. much, David. It sounds like the perfect runner's watch, really. Definitely, especially definitely hearing for, it from you. Yeah. Well, we, I mean, literally, we had a training day today with with some people through the magazine, and we gave out um, twelve of these little babies. So um, everybody was pretty excited to get yeah. uh, get a watch, and and also they were using them within uh, fifteen minutes of receiving the product. So it kind of shows you that, you know, they're definitely. Um, there's definitely that ease of use, but but also uh, people are quite generally quite excited to get um, get something different as well. You know, I mean, yeah. Tom haven't been in the market that, that long, um, and they're making good products. So fantastic. Well, thank you so much, David. Um, we're going to jump over to Lena now from Mind Over Matter. Um, Lena, before we start, I know you've been trialing the Jawbone. Can you tell us a little bit about your blog? <coughs> you yourself. Um, yes. Hi. Um, my name is Lena, and I blog at Mind Over Matter. Um, I write uh, mostly about things that are fun for me these days, not so much about my kids anymore. So I write about running and weightlifting and uh, a bit about rock climbing and, and yoga and nutrition and stuff like that. Um, I have never tried a fitness tracker before because I'm quite active anyway, so I haven't been sure how much it would motivate me to sort of move more on my rest days and things like that. But I I've been trying out the jawbone up, okay, and somebody commented on it saying how cool it looked. Um, and I actually really like the fact that it doesn't look like a watch and it doesn't look like, Ooh, look at me, I'm super sporty, sort of wearing a big, big sports watch. Um, it's very easy to set up. Um, basically, it has just two ends, and one end is a little cap that you pull off and then you charge it through a USB. The other end is just one button that you toggle uh, between your sleep mode and your active mode. Um, sleep, personally, I don't like to track um, because I just can't sleep with something around my wrist. So that I just put in manually, sort of the time I go to bed and then when I wake up. Um, now the stats that it collects, uh, you can see through your app only on your phone. There is no, no display on, on that one. 
Um, the app is free to download, very easy, quick to set up. You put in your personal details, your height and weight and so on, and then you're good to go. Uh, and it updates uh, through Bluetooth uh, wirelessly, so very quickly every time you log into your phone, you can see how you're doing. Um, I, um, I like the, the, the fact that it counts you know, the, the steps as I'm doing everyday stuff. Um, and also uh, putting the nutrition. I don't usually track my nutrition, but it has been interesting to sort of play around with the app and, and, and see the functionality and how easy it is. Um, and um, it sort of not only shows you how many calories you've eaten, but it sort of gives you a food score, so you actually know the quality of food you're eating. So I found that quite interesting. That's fantastic. I didn't know it did that. Um, it's uh, it's based on some kind of American guidelines, I guess, but it, it, it's pretty good. I know quite a bit of nutrition about nutrition, and it, it seems it seems legit, so it's 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 all right for me. Um, also, if people use a lot of people use my fitness power for nutrition, it syncs with that as well, so you don't have to do it twice. Um, and it also syncs with a lot of other fitness um, apps, like I use Strava for my running, so I don't have to put in my run separately. They just sync with Strava. Um, uh, what else? All the other workouts that I do, I can't wear it to rock climbing or to CrossFit, so I just enter them manually. And you can put in, you know, how difficult it was, and you know how long you did it, and, and what kind of workout it was. So it's quite good. It has a lot of features, and it. Uh, it, it took me a while to sort of get to know the app and to, to find out just everything that was, was in it. I was hesitant at first to like start messing with the nutrition because I don't usually track. But then once I tried it out, I saw that it was sort of very easy and the interface is a lot of fun and it, it sort of it makes it easy and, and, and fun at the same time. So it's, it's, sort of, it's quite good and it, it, it took me by surprise, I think. Um, uh, what else can I say? I think I will mostly use it on my rest days, just to make sure that my rest days are my sort of active recovery and not just sitting on the couch days. Sure. Um, and also on holidays, um, just to make sure that I sort of walk enough. And um, my, um, my older son actually has a step counter as well. And so evenings, when neither of us have done our steps, then we just go for a walk in the evening. And it's been really nice, actually, because he's thinking about, you know, how much he's moving every day. Um, and then in the evenings, we can just go and get a bit of fresh air before bedtime and, uh, and catch up and talk about Minecraft and things like that. Um, so all in all, I'm positively surprised. It took me a few days to sort of warm up to the idea and get to know the app. But all in all, I like it a lot. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, we're going to jump over to Laurie now from Wild and Grizzly. Hi, Laurie. Hi. Um, how are you? And can you please tell us a little bit about you, yourself and, and your blog, please? Of course. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Uh, yeah, so I write a UK lifestyle blog called wildandgrizzly.com. Um, it focuses on design, interiors, travel, and lifestyle. Uh, also covers um, my life with my four-year-old son. Um, he keeps me very active, <laughs> which is nice. Um, I'm trialing the Fitbit Charge, which hopefully you'll be able to see here. It's basically just looks like quite a sleep design black watch. It has got an LED function at the front, but I just hold it, it'll be upside down. <laughs> and an easy release, which is great. It comes with a charge socket at the back, and that also monitors um, everything. This is amazing. Since I've had it, I've not really taken it off. I absolutely love it. It's like having a personal trainer on your wrist <laughs> at all times. Um, I've never really tracked my day-to-day -day activities. I tend to be very busy. I tend to eat roughly a healthy diet. Um, so I've never really thought I needed a reason to have something like this. Um, I probably could not have been more wrong. <laughs> um, it retails at 99 uh, 99 usually, but I think it's 79.99 at the moment on August's website. Um, it's very easy to use once you get it. You put your phone onto Bluetooth, you download the app onto your iPhone, or using the dongle, which you can get with it here, which is very small, you can put it onto your PC or laptop. Um, you enter your basic information, weight, height, 
um, age, gender, etc. And that's pretty much it set up. It could not be easier. It takes about 10, you know, 10 seconds to set up, hardly anything. Um, and it tracks your calorie intake. It tracks your steps taken, your kilometers walked, um, any active ex exercise, so 30 minutes of active exercise, what's recommended, 10,000 steps is recommended a day. Um, it can track your water intake, you just enter it in. I found on the first day I entered no water, <laughs> which is probably why I was feeling really dehydrated and tired, uh, which instantly made me suddenly really push to start taking care of myself. And also it does track your sleep. It tracks your um, sleep mode, your restlessness, and your awake time during your sleep period, and you don't need to change over. You just simply wear it, so you don't do anything to it. Um, which is very interesting as a parent, I think, you know, you need decent sleep to have the sort of patience to get on with the everyday activities. Um, and sometimes it shows when you haven't, but realizing this, I'm, you know, last night I got five hours, 40 minutes sleep with seven interrupted sessions during that sleep. So I can tell why I was feeling a bit grumpy this morning. Um, it's just a really easy watch to use. The really good thing about this as well is somebody who's very sociable, as myself and with blogging, um, you can use it to um, interact on Twitter and Facebook. So it can set milestones for you. So once you reach your milestone of working 10,000 steps a day, it will it will alert you that you've done it on your wrist using vibrate mode. Um, you can then tweet it and share it with your friends. There's also challenges on here, which you can invite friends who are also got a Fitbit product to join in so that you can compete against each other if you want some friendly rivalry to try and help your healthy lifestyle. Um, I haven't really used it for the um, the calorie intake but if you are using it for a kind of a diet plan or a food plan you can scan barcodes to see the calorie intake of that product and it automatically uploads it for you so it's it's pretty much foolproof you can you can do everything with it it's I, I love it. <laughs> it's my new best friend. <laughs> I'm taking it everywhere. So, yeah, that's it there. Did you, were you surprised by how, how much, much you move as a busy mum? Um, yeah, I think so. I think on my quiet day, I checked. The first day I used it, and I'd done 7,000 steps. And I felt like I hadn't really done anything. And then yesterday, I did 17,000 steps. And that was just kind of like a day out running around with my son, taking him places, picking him up the school run. So it is interesting to see that I'm naturally, you know, keeping on the healthy side. But it's interesting to see how some people who are, you know, working in very busy jobs, maybe commute drive, sitting in the tube, get off, yeah. sit in the office, get home, you know, maybe want to relax and sit and watch TV. You can imagine how actually that might be quite scary to see the results of that and I think this does help promote just a mindfulness about your your, your sort of health and help you change it in a, um, a really healthy way rather than sort of like as a, a fad like a detox month or anything I think it's just kind of promotes a healthier lifestyle in general really having this yeah, yeah. fantastic well thank you so much um does anyone else have any questions on the panel regarding their their Fitbit uh, well, it was it was really for for all of the people that had fitness activity monitors. Really, it sounds like you get more out of them the more you put into them. Would that be a fair comment? To say, I mean, you could just wear it and have it as a watch, but effectively, you know, you need you need to spend some time and some effort to to, to generate the the you know the, the metrics that that give you the the feedback. Um, you know, whereas I feel that the cardio runner is. Sort of slightly outside of that because it's providing feedback on something you're doing in a in a particular space of time, i.e., a run, you know, a particular activity. Whereas you you've got that kind of constant monitoring effect for, for from the products that you're looking at. I think with the, um, with the Fitbit Charge, um, there is an option on there that when you're actually do so, you, it monitors your heart rate. So if it's elevated for 30 minutes, it tracks how much you've got elevated heart rate. Um, but you've also got an exercise option, so you can press that and turn your location services on on your phone, and it will track a run. It will track. It, I think it would track it more like your David. It would do that, and then you just turn that back off again, and it goes back into normal tracking mode. So you have got two options on there. Okay. Great. Right, well, thank you so much. I um, think the jawbone has an active mode. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, please. I keep going. I was going to say this has an active mode as well, but I haven't tried it out yet because for all my runs and things I use uh, a different watch. So perhaps it's something I need to check out to see if it um, tracks my runs as well because it would uh, make it make it easier. Don't have to take it on and off. Yeah. Yeah. 
Great. Thank you so much. I think um, to summarize, I think having trialed all these different products, it's clear to see that there's a lot of diversity out there. I think 2015 is going to be a huge year for wearable tech trends. Um, and whether you're a gym bunny or um, a fitness pro, I think there's really something out there for everyone. But um, I'd like to thank mm -hmm. my fellow bloggers for the, on the expert panel. Also thank Argo so much for hosting and thank you for tuning in. That's a wrap. Good night. Mm -hmm.